How y'all doing? How y'all doing? This is Jamar Grimsley from Get Right With God Ministries and welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we get into the video, I want you guys to please support my channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you comment down below and make sure that you turn on the notifications bell. All right, let's get into it. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? This is Jamar Grimsley from Get Right With God Ministries. I pray that everybody's doing well today. I pray that everybody's doing well. Um, God is good, you know. I say that he's better to us, y'all, than we are to ourselves. You know, God is just awesome. And, you know, um, I always say, let me, let me say this, right? When when I say God is better to us than we are to ourselves, I know you guys, you guys have heard that. But that means like like we want the best for ourselves, right? We want um, good health and, you know, we want um, wealth and we want um, success. We want the nice clothes and nice cars and the best food. Like we want all of that stuff for us. But how many know God wants better than that? Ah, Korabosaya, my God. Ah, how can God want better than that for us? Better than, better than the thing that we can even desire. Ah. My God, hallelujah. Father, we just thank you on today. I mean, you know he's worthy to be praised. And what I wanted to just come on really quick, you guys, and um, I won't be long, but I wanted to uh, come on. Um, this is a word of my spirit, and um, I believe it's going to help somebody today. Um, but I have a scripture here. I have a scripture here, and um, it's from Psalms chapter 100, right? And it's verse 4, right? And, and it's just one verse. It says, enter into his gates, right, with thanksgiving, right? It says, and into his courts with praise. Right? It said, be thankful unto him and bless his name. See, 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 enter into his gates, right, with thanksgiving. And, and, and I'm going to tell you what that means because what it means is a lot of times what we do, we may have a prayer closet, we may not have a prayer closet, wherever we pray at. But we just go directly straight to God and we ask him for stuff. Father, I need this. And Lord, you know, I'm going through this and you know, my bills ain't paid. And Lord, you know exactly where I am and I'm trusting you to bring me through. And like you're not coming in the right way. You're not coming in the right way. You're not coming in the right way. You can't just go to him and begin to tell him what you need. Ha. Huh? Let me tell you what this is doing, right? And this is a tip and it's going to help somebody. But this is what you call praying amiss, right? Which means that those prayers would not even be answered because you have not entered in the correct way. And enter in is enter into his presence, into his, his presence. Father, when I come before you, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. That's the first thing that you need to do. And y'all, I was, I'm telling you, this stuff I talk about, it's from experience. It's not just, oh, it's the Bible and that's it. Which the Bible is always correct, but a lot of those things in the Bible I've been through. So I know how to talk about them, you know, and God has corrected me on so many things. He's had to uh, give me, uh, like, okay, I got to give you a little beating because you're not getting it. You know what I'm saying? So, so this thing right here, God had to really show me because I would just come to him, you know, and I know, um, it's, it's something that we have to kind of unlearn because sometimes we're used to just asking God for stuff and we think that he's just like a store or he's just somebody that we just can go to and ask for things and you know, that's it. But that's probably how, um, we view God, which is the wrong impression. It's the wrong uh, view of God. It's the wrong way to look at God because that's not all that he is. That's not who he is, you know? Um, so so you have to go to him, you know? Um, and, and Father, I thank you. Like, just come before his presence. See, he knows what you need. He knows what you need, even before you ask. But he says that you have it not because you ask not. And even when you go and ask for it, you're going to ask for it amiss because you do not come into his presence with thanksgiving. Enter into his gates, which is his presence. Ha! Into his gates with thanksgiving, right? Into his courts with praise. Oh, glory to your name, God. See, this is how you come. 
You go into your prayer closet. Father, I just thank you for one more day. Lord, I thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. If it had not been ah, for you on my side, God, where would I be? Father, I would be dead and in hell, God. But I thank you, oh, that you was on my side, God, and that you were keeping me, God, even when I was rebelling and doing what I wanted to do. So, Father, I just thank you for your mercy. I just thank you for your grace, God. Oh, I just love you on today, God, for your mercies. They're new every day, God. Heard I will shot. And then it says, <laughs> I started getting into a praise for real. Thank you, Jesus. And that was example, but ah, I feel the presence of the Lord right now. Oh my God. And enter into his courts with praise. Oh Father, I honor you on today, God. You're worthy to be praised, God. I love you, God. Oh God. Oh, God, you, 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 there's none like you, God. You're, Father, you're perfect in all of your ways, God. Father, if it had not been for you, God. Father, if I had 10,000 tongues, God, I still, I still, Father, couldn't thank you enough for how good you've been. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Glory. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, you're Alpha and Omega, Lord. You are my provider. Ha. Oh, yes, God. See, see, praise is telling him who he is. So begin first, enter in with thanksgiving. Father, I thank you for one more day. And Father, enter into his courts with praise. Praise. Begin to praise him. Begin to lift up his name. Begin to glorify him. Begin to let him know how much you love him and how much you appreciate all that he does. Hakarabosanda. Thank you, Jesus. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Ah, into his courts with praise, y'all. Praise. Don't just go straight into his presence and just ask him for stuff. It's the wrong thing. That's not the way you do it. That is not the way you do it. And I used to, uh, Lord, why is you answering my prayer? I see this person getting their prayers answered. You know what I need, Lord, but you're not answering. Like, that's how I just come into his presence, just complaining, just like that, like just asking for stuff without even acknowledging him, without recognizing, like without, it was just like disrespect. Like, even if it was a person, like you, you, you still would greet the person and you would tell them hello and it wasn't like that I would just go into his presence complaining, go into his presence asking, go into his presence doubting, like, are you going to come through for me, Lord? Because you're the only one that could come through for me. And if you don't, but it was the demeanor, it was the way that I was saying it, the way that I was behaving when I was saying it, like, it was like aggravated, frustrated. Like, I can't wait on you, God. Like, do this now. I need you, you know? And how many times have we um, wanted God to just move just like that on something quick? You know, we don't have patience, you know, we don't have patience a lot of times. And, you know, when we don't have patience, um, God will leave you there. So the thing that you're praying about and the thing that you want and you're so eager to get it instead of trusting God to give it to you at the right time, he's going to continue to let you along and want for that thing until you're able to say, God, if it's not your time for me to have it, then, oh, well, I'll just wait on it because God... I know it's for me to have, like, I know you want me to have children and Lord, I know you want me to have a spouse and Lord, I want you, I know you want my business to pick up. I know because Lord, you said in your word that above all things that you wish that we may prosper. And father, this sickness, father, I know you want my heal. I know you want me to be healed from it, God, because you said by the stripes of Jesus that we are healed, God. Oh, you said it, God, you know, so I stand on your word, God. But Father, I believe that I'm going to get through this sickness. I believe that I'm going to get out of this situation. I just have to trust you, Lord. Ah, my God. And when you have that kind of attitude, y'all, instead of complaining, murmuring, grumbling, but when you say, Father, maybe it's not the time yet. You know, I'm just going to wait on you. They that wait upon the Lord. They that wait, 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 wait. Right. Not they that go ahead of God and try to make their own way. And they no, but they that wait is something about the waiting. It's a song that say, I don't mind waiting. 
I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. Ah. I don't mind waiting. Ha! How many know that God's timing is the best timing? Ha! So we, we, we cannot rush him. Ha! My God, I begin to worship right there. Ah, glory to God. I thank you, Jesus. Ha! Y'all, I feel the presence of the Lord. But when you come to him and say, Lord, I don't mind waiting. I know that your timing is the best timing. You know? And I believe that you want me to have this. But even if you don't, God, you know? I know that you know what's best for me, you know? So when you come to him, that shows that you trust him. You rely on him. You honor him. You acknowledge him, you know? Like, that's what that shows. But when you go try to get it yourself and you just rush into it and you say, oh, he ain't giving it to me, so I'm going to go try to get it myself. And, you know, instead of just waiting on God, you mess it up. You mess it up. You mess it up. You mess it up. Just wait on him, y'all. He's going to come through. He may not come when you want him to, but he's a right on time God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, y'all, I just wanted to bring that message um, into in the right way, you know. Um, and when God gives me something like this, it's because, you know, um, we're praying amiss, y'all. Like we have sincere prayers, and but God is not answering them because... You're not entering in the right way. You understand what I'm saying? You're not entering in the right way. So this is very valuable information. And it wasn't until I began to enter in the right way. Into in praising. Into in thanking. Into him worshiping. And, and when you do that, you really don't even have to tell him what you need. Ha! Karabashando! Oh, glory to your name. I mean, tell him, but it's like when you enter into his presence. Ha! There's something about it right there. Ha! See, the Bible say I, he knows what we need, y'all, even before we ask. Ah, but I mean, he does want you to ask, but but it's like all of those little worries and those things of of your own needs and those things that you want. And those like when you come into the presence of the Lord, it just I don't know. It just kind of takes your mind off of all of those worries, all of those things. It's like, you know, some people run to drugs because they want to get. But it's just like a temporary fit quick fix. It's not even a fix because it's making you worse, but it's like that with God. Like you go to God and, and it just, but it's not a, a quick fix. Like this fix is something. It's, it's like, it just, I just want it. You know, I just want it. I need it. You know, I need it, but it's not a drug. It's something that's good for you. You know, going into the presence of the Lord, you know, entering in the right way. Because when you start y'all, when you go and start your day, um, praying and, you carry God throughout the whole day with you, you know. It's only when um, you have not prayed, you have not been into the presence of the Lord. And, you know, it's just only in those times that our days are chaotic, you know. So even if you rush and give God some time, give him some time. If you got to get up a half an hour early, Father, I thank you. I love you. I honor you. Just get on them knees and show God some love. Ha! Ah! Because he deserves it, y'all. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. I, I don't know who that was for, but um, I pray that you guys receive that on today because that was truly for somebody. You know, um, you wonder why maybe your prayers aren't being answered, but you have to go to God and give him thanksgiving, you know, enter his course with praise, you know, bless his holy name, you know, that's what it says. And, and you'll probably even forget what you wanted, like, you know. But God knows what it is that you need. But after that, then you make your supplications known unto him. Father, I'm struggling with this, Lord. And, 
you know, you're my father and I look to you, God. I can't get these things on my own, Father. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Father, that you would meet every need. Like, like talk to him like that, but you got to come in the right way. Because if you don't, you're praying amiss. And that's a lot of times why prayers don't get answered. So I believe this is very valuable information. Well, y'all, I'm going to go now. I am Jamar Grimsley from Get Right With God Ministries. And um, I want you guys to please subscribe to my channel. I want you guys to share this video. I want you guys to like. I want you to comment down below. And um, yeah, if you want to send me prayer requests, please um, send them. Go to Get Right With God Ministries dot com. Get Right With God Ministries dot com. Or my email address is Get Right With God Ministries number one at gmail dot com. But if you want, you can go on the website Get Right With God Ministries dot com, and there's a link there where you can um, click there and you know, put your prayer request there and um, send it to me. And I don't play with these things, but when I get a prayer request, I truly do pray over it. I truly do pray over it. And, um, you know, prayer is going to change things around. <laughs> I've learned that, you know, so you guys, I thank you guys for watching. And please, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. I thank you guys for watching. Again, I am Jamar Grimsley. God bless you. Until next time, I love you. I thank y'all for watching. All right. Be blessed.